What's up guys, I'm Severin and we're about to play music and lyrics with Young Hollywood. Let's do this. So, the first question is, it's my lyrics. I think it, mean, it means to explain what the lyrics are. It says, so, I try to run but these feelings don't go away. Okay. This lyric, obviously I wrote the song about the emotions and the relations that come with being a part um, I use the word emotional roller coaster on my Instagram feed, so this is basically you know, the ups and downs of a relationship. Not the one that I'm in right now, just past relationships. Um, so basically what this lyric means is, I try to run but the feelings don't go away. You can escape, but until you face those emotions and you deal with them head on, they're not going to go anywhere. It's just like anything else. You can go to bed, but when you wake up, the problem is still there. So there's no such thing as running from the problems until you face them and conquer them yourself. So as much as you try to run, the feelings aren't going to go away that okay okay so I got another question right here one thing your best friend Zach Lugo said about the music word to the man Mitch I'm going to be a fair king rock star so he's been super supportive so appreciate you Zach he wants me to be a rock star he thinks he's gonna be one so there's that we got a big question okay so we got another explain the lyrics but I'm all right, I'm okay, I'm fine till I see your face. I don't mind, no way you would ever come back to me. This is actually a conversation. Not many people know that, so. It's one person saying, I'm all right. The other person saying, I'm okay, right? You match their energy. It's like, I'm fine till I see your face. You know what I mean? They're fine, but the second they see you, all those emotions come back. I don't mind what they say, you know? No way you would ever come back to me. And that is basically a synopsis of what I once went through, where it was like, you could walk away, like I said, from your emotions, but like, no matter once you see them, like I feel like there's a famous quote, I forget where it is, but it's like, someone said their grandma told them this, but it's like, um, you know, until you can look someone in the eyes and say, I'm fine without you, you're not fine without them. So this is all about how when you see somebody and you see their face again, it's like, damn, there's no way you would ever come back, but I wish you would. So there's that. Question number four. Four. Yeah. It says, what is the meaning behind the name swap to Severn? So, as many of you guys know, my birth name, to the government, I am Christian Plord. Um, I couldn't use Christian, or I chose not to, I should say, because Christian gives a very religious appeal. Now, as religious as I am, I want to have a mass appeal to the many people that may not be following the same religion that I am. So instead of applying a religious name to them, I use something that my parents almost named me at birth, which is after my great-grandfather, Severin. They bounce between Christian and Severin at birth, so I figured my almost name will be the birth of a different thing. So, Severin is my rock star name. Let's go. Um, I got another one. Does being in love help you with writing music? There is nothing more that helps you write music than being in a relationship. Because anything that ever, like, you know, relationships aren't ever perfect, but, you know, love is worth it and you always work through it. So, Writing, I think, is one of the most therapeutic things you can do, and sometimes it's the only way you feel understood. So being in love, you can write about all the benefits that being in love, and then some of the troubles because, you know, you want to make relatable music, and there's always somebody that's facing the same thing as you. So being in love definitely helps me write writing music, and as Justin Bieber once said, my girlfriend's my muse. So yeah, there's that. Um, I think we're on question six, maybe? What is next in your music career? What's next in my music career is just more music, as it is itself. So my first song was more of a rock, rockish song, right? I want to dive into more of the exciting anthem-like punk music, so with my second single, you guys will see that exciting energy that I'm talking about. The next question. Who thought of the idea of the music video? Um, my director, Zach Straysner. He actually hit me up, and he was like, do you have a vision with the song? I was like... Yeah, man, like, obviously the lyrics speak for themselves. It's kind of about a relationship and the thought of a girl. He hit me head on with, like, this big paragraph of an idea of, like, what if you're thinking of one girl and there's one girl at the party, but you're stuck on one girl in your head, and that's kind of where you're bouncing back and forth, and, you know, your head's caught in this relationship between two different girls, the one that has you and the one that you're thinking of, but, you know, you're trying to stay focused and perform your music, and I was like, you had me there. Write it up. You can direct it. I love it. He came through. We did our thing. And I love the video. So shout out to Zach Straysner. I appreciate you, man. That video is dope. So yeah. And our final one says, 
List some of your homies that were in the music video. Okay, so let's gonna start off with my twin brother, uh, Nate, uh, Will Plort, obviously. My best friend from home, Nate Hobbs. Those two alone made the video. And then we're gonna go with my uh, two brothers, Mitchell Eason and Jake Kuhlman, two guys that have always supported me. Absolutely love them. And if you guys want any other names, you're gonna have to go see the video for yourself and point out who you see, because there's a lot of notable faces, but I'll list those four close homies. So yeah, thank you. Thank you guys, it's Severin. That was me playing music and lyrics. Make sure you subscribe and shout out to Young Hollywood for having me. Thank you.